I'm Amy Goodman. The nuclear power industry and President Obama's plans to fund its growth is bracing for a major setback today, as the Vermont State Senate's expected to vote to shut down a nuclear reactor with a history of leaks. The 38-year-old Vermont Yankee plant, which is owned by Entergy Corporation, is one of the oldest nuclear reactors in the country. The state Senate's expected to deny a request to extend its 40-year lifespan by an additional 20 years, condemning the plant to close in 2012. The move would mark the first time a state has moved to shut down a reactor. It follows Obama's announcement last week of $8.3 billion in loan guarantees for the construction of the first new nuclear power plants in the United States in close to three decades. On Monday, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission confirmed the Vermont Yankee has had several leaks of radioactive tritium dating back to 2005. An investigation later established that the plant's owners had lied about the extent of contamination to the local water supply. They claimed the facility did not have underground pipes that could carry tritium when it did. The man who first sounded the alarm bell on Vermont Yankee is a nuclear engineer. His name is Arnie Gunderson. Two years ago, he was appointed to an oversight panel to study the plant. He and his wife, Maggie, are contracted consultants to the Vermont Legislature. Arnie Gunderson was a nuclear industry executive for many years before blowing the whistle on the company he worked for in 1990, when he found inappropriately stored radioactive material. Arnie Gunderson joins us now from Burlington, Vermont. We welcome you to Democracy Now! Tell us what you expect to happen today in the Vermont State Senate. Good morning. Um the, the, the Senate has 30 members in, uh, in Vermont, and uh, the motion before them is to, um, as you said in the leader here, to um, uh, either allow the plant to continue to operate for an extra 20 years or uh, not allow the plant to continue. Um, right now, it's a 40-year life, and, the, um, um, and that life ends in 2012, and uh, they've asked for permission to run 20 years. In Vermont, where it's very unique, we don't, um, uh, we're, as far as I know, the only state that presently has the ability to say no. It's not on safety grounds, though. Um, our, our basis is uh, on a, something called a certificate of public good, and um, uh, the legislatures will, um, uh, will decide whether or not it's good for Vermont to allow that plan to continue running for 20 more years. Why are you recommending a no vote? My, my recommendation is based on a, on a couple things. The, the plan has had a, a, a long history of, of problems. So we, we had a, uh, a transformer fire, which was uh, quite dramatic and, and, and well publicized. And then we had the cooling towers collapse. And then um, we also lost some nuclear fuel. The, the, by we, I mean Vermont Yankee. Um, and, um, and now we have a tritium leak that has gone undetected for probably a year. Um, on top of those mechanical problems, there are some um, other problems. The, the Entergy is planning on spinning off this old plant and five other old plants into a junk bond rated company called the Nexus. Um, and th there's concern that there won't be enough working capital to uh, maintain the plant and enough capital to dismantle the plant when it's due to shut down. And then, and then the last piece is the, uh, is the fact that they uh, Entergy has not told the truth to the Public Service Board uh, at least three times. They, they were fined $51,000 in 2003, $82,000 in 2004. Um, and, and for Vermont, that's a, those are big deal numbers. And, uh, and now, of course, they've, uh, over a period of about 18 months, um, told the Public Service Board and, and me on the public oversight panel that they had no, over, no underground pipes. That, of course, is proven wrong with the tritium leak. Talk about this tritium leak um, and the underground pipes that, well, that the nuclear power plant had denied that it had. Uh, the, um, this particular, um, this is a boiling water reactor. Uh, about 40 percent of the reactors in the country are boiling water reactors, and it's one of the oldest boiling water reactors. A couple of years ago, it had a 20% um, power increase, which put extra stresses on systems. And at the same time, um, Entergy didn't hire any extra personnel 
um, with the 20% power increase. So um, there's a, a system that pulls oxygen out of the condenser called the off-gas system, um, and, and, and that appears to be leaking. It contains um, uh, tritium and other radioactive isotopes. Uh, the only one that's been detected so far is tritium in the soil, but in some other portions uh, very near the soil, they've also detected cobalt and radioactive zinc. Um, the, the, the extent of the leak is, is um, quite large. It's about 400 feet long and about 200 feet wide, and the depth is uh, at least 30 feet, and there's monitoring wells down to 30 feet. Then it heads from the plant to the Connecticut River. Uh, it's been detected um, only 20 or 30 feet away from the Connecticut River already. Now, the, plant, the nuclear plant had denied that it had underground pipes? The, um, we were chartered, the panel, the oversight panel was chartered by the state to do something called a comprehensive vertical audit back in 2008. And the, um, the, the state asked the oversight panel to specifically look at underground pipe. That was one of the seven systems that they wanted, uh, the state wanted us to look at. Um, the uh, contractor for the, for the state uh, inquired of Entergy, and they were told they had no underground pipes and that, um, um, and that in fact, there, um, um, there were none. So the issues related to uh, leaking underground pipes that have been around the nation uh, appeared to the panel to not apply to Vermont Yankee. Um, after that, um, we published a report, and, and, and this over a period of 18 months, there was plenty of opportunity to change the record. Um, Entergy executives testified under oath that they had no underground pipes, and then I discovered in, a, in my role as a contractor to the, uh, to the state legislature, I discovered that there really were underground pipes. I wrote to Entergy and I said, do we have a misunderstanding here? And they wrote back, no, there's no underground pipes. That was last year. That was in August of last year. Um, then I testified twice to the uh, legislature in October. I told them there's really underground pipes here, and, and, um, and we were mistaken when we wrote to you. And again, Entergy did nothing. And then, of course, in, in January, the pipe leaked, and, um, um, and it was obvious that there really were underground pipes. And tell us where the Vermont Yankee is. Vermont Yankees on the Connecticut River. It's just north of, um, of the Massachusetts border and uh, right across the river from, from New Hampshire. So it's, um, it's within a half a mile of, of the New Hampshire shore and about five miles north of the, uh, of the Massachusetts border. And what does this leak, this tritium leak in underground pipes mean for the community? Um, you know, it, it means a lot to Vermont. Um, right now, the, um, there, there are no drinking wells that are contaminated. There are many wells on the site that are well over the EPA standards, but uh, so far the wedge, the, 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 the tritium plume, has not traveled off-site. The Entergy has a well on site, which, as a precaution, they closed down a drinking well on site that that they closed down uh, several days ago. But the the bigger issue is about Vermont's brand. I mean, we have this brand of purity, and um, this story has run in about 500 uh, papers around the country. So, you know, when you're trying to sell uh, Cabot cheese and Ben and Jerry's ice cream and maple syrup and and, and skiing and leaf watching. Uh, having a tritium leak is, is not something that the image uh, was really designed to handle. Arnie Gunderson, we're going to go to break, but we're going to come back to you, and we're also going to go to Georgia, where President Obama has just pushed for the building of two new nuclear plants, the first two in some three decades. So this is very significant, what's happening in Vermont today. Arnie Gunderson is a former nuclear industry executive member of the Oversight Panel and consultant to the Vermont legislature. We're also going to find out about his history. He didn't always live in Vermont used to live in Connecticut and became a whistleblower, was seriously harassed there uh, when, until he moved to Vermont. We'll be back in a minute.